This tutorial will walk you through some of the different research tools that are available on this platform. Most of the research tools are found here on the Quotes tab at the top of the page. We'll start with the basic quotes. Once you enter the Quotes page, you can do a symbol lookup by typing either company name or the stock symbol in this search box here. You can choose whether you're searching by symbol or the company name. In this case, I'm searching by symbol, so I'll just click the symbol that I want to see. This will load a detailed um, quote showing you a lot of information about this stock, including its current price, how it's changed for today, the bid and ask price, and a timestamp for when I did this search. Down here, you can see a performance chart showing this stock's performance for the last day, five days, one month, three months, six months, a year, and even five years. You can find a little bit more detailed quote information here. For example, the earnings per share, its current market cap, its years highs and lows, and a lot more information. Down here, you can also see some of the most current news stories mentioning this stock. So if you want to know why its price has been going up and down, you can click on these stories to see what, what's the market saying about this stock today. You can find more information about this stock by looking at the detailed quote options on the side of the page here. For example, charts will give you a lot more inf information using our charting tool showing how this stock's price has been going for the last um, month, or sorry, three months. And again, you can configure this to go with different date ranges. You can also add more symbols to this chart so you can compare multiple symbols at the same time. Now it shows you both of these symbols and how their stock's price has been moving over the time I've been searching. You can see this either as a price or how has the stock's changed as a percentage for the same time period. You can choose whether or not to show the volume of how these stocks have been moving as well. So these bar charts at the bottom show the relative volume of each of the stocks that I'm looking at, while the line chart is showing the percentage change for that same time period. Next we have the option chain. So if you're interested in, in seeing the options of this any stock, you can find the option chain here, which is going to give you a detailed quote for all the options available for this stock. Company news is the same thing that we saw on the first quotes page, where it's just going to list the, the news for this stock. The only difference is that you can actually filter the, the date range for the news. So if you had a stock price that changed rapidly and you weren't paying attention two weeks ago, you can go in here and filter the news from back in that time period. Key ratios is most useful for, for some accounting and finance classes. You can see things like the margin, its revenue um, growth for the last couple of years, its profit margin, and some of the other information about the efficacy of its management, efficiency, valuation, and price comparisons. The share performance will show you how this stock's price has changed over the last um, several time periods. So you can see for this one, for this 200 days, it's actually gone up by $200. Over the last seven days, it's gone down by $2. Same thing through year-to-date um, changes for the different uh, time periods. You can also find some more information about this actual stock's um, trading history. So 50-day average, this is the average volume it's had for 50 days, 30 days, 20 days. So you can see investors were a lot, have been a lot more active trading this stock about 20 days ago compared to they were 50 days ago. You can also see who is holding this stock. So institutional holdings is things like investment banks, while other includes basically normal individual investors. You can also even see what the institutional, institutional investors have been doing with this, this stock. So you can see they've been buying it a lot over the last three months and not that many have been selling it over the last three months. You can also see, compare this with the insiders. So insiders is people who are inside the company. They've been buying back a lot of their own stock. Next is the earnings report. The earnings report shows you how much this stock has actually earned over the last period of time. But more interestingly, it'll actually give you a lot more detail about what analysts have been saying about this stock and its current price compared to what the different Wall Street analysts think it's worth. So in each of these time periods, the one week, two week, and three week, the analysts give it a, a low point where they think it is the lowest it should go, a high point where, where it's the highest that it could possibly be worth, and then what it actually was. You can also see what the analysts are saying about their earnings per share movement over the last period of time. So this gives you their earnings per share 
over a different time horizon, so 90 days, 60 day, 30 day, 7 day, to see how that's been moving over time. You can also see how their stock price has been actually moving over the last several years. And you can get more information about uh, what it's been for each quarter. Next, financial statements. This is one of the most useful tools that we have available. The financial statements, you can see the income statements, balance sheets, and cash flow statements going back five years. You can use this either annually or quarterly. It'll show you some spark lines showing you how this has been moving over the last few, few years, and you can also see these in extensive detail for every single stock in the unit trading in the United States. For some of these, they're broken down a little bit, so you can press the Chevron to break down what these are some, with some different um, categorizations. SEC filings will show you everything that this company has filed with the SEC going back um, all the way till, until they IPO'd. You can export all this data using different file formats depending on what works best for you. Corporate actions will list all of the um, earning events that will that have applied to this stock. So it'll say this is when they announced earnings for this quarter. More interestingly, for some stocks, it will also show if they've had any splits or dividends announced. Trades is a delayed level two quote where it actually shows you who's been placing how many trades so I can see here about one minute ago somebody bought five shares of this stock a minute before that 12 shares traded so if you're doing some more intensive technical analysis you can see this for the last few minutes of how the price is actually been changing over the last um, minute or two minute time frame and how big of these trades have been going through for example, if you click the Markets tab here, it will show you some more information about the, those markets that we had on the other Quotes tool, but you'll also have these filters here. The most interesting one, I think, is the Sectors tool. This will list all the basic economic sectors in the economy and let you see the biggest stocks in each one. For example, if I want to see the biggest stocks in the Electronic Gaming and Media section, I can click this link here. It will show me a list of the 50 biggest companies that are considered in this space. So for example, I see Activision, Blizzard, Nintendo, Electronic Arts, and several other the big game companies that you're probably familiar with. You can use this tool to compare different stocks in the same sector with a charting tool showing you how their prices relate to each other. You can also compare them over different time periods, 5 days, 10 days, 5 years, 10 years, and a lot more. If you have any questions about the Quotes tool, you can always go to the About page at the top of the screen and click Contact Us to ask our support team.